Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. Today we have a brand new PowerPoint game for you guys. This one is called Greedy Granny. So I hope you guys enjoy this brand new PowerPoint game. You can grab this free template in the description box below this video. But before that, if you're new to this channel and you would like to get more content like this, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. Also, I want to say a big huge thank you to all the viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Uh, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you. So here we have the brand new uh, Greedy Grand Game. And on the right here, we have uh, some buttons. Um, we have the start game button and the rules and the support more projects button we'll go through each of these together and i'll show you how it works and i'll explain the rules of this game um, however you can use this game however way you want it's really up to you all right so let's click on the rules here so here is the rule on how to play this is just one way of uh, of using this game, but you can use it however way you want. So first, you can play one-on-one -on -one or in a group of four. Uh, you can choose from challenge or question, and I'll show you that later in the game. And after completing a challenge or question, you can click on the spinner, and I'll explain uh, more about that later as well and the X on the spinner indicates the number of times you must click so you click on um, there's like a little clicker you click on that and then you can get like snacks if grandma does not wake up you can choose a snack so if it lands on like one of the numbers you have to click it and then choose a snack so you can choose any of the snacks um, shown below here and if you get a boy on the spinner, um, you skip your turn. So the boy here on the spinner, you skip your turn. And if you land on a snack on the spinner, you don't have to click on the clicker. You just choose a snack. If grandma wakes up, the game is over and you can click on the reset button to try again. So click all the snacks or get the most snacks to win. All right, so let's start this game by clicking the start game here. This is the main game board here. On the left, we have the spinner and the little pointer. In the middle here, we have the um, snacks, cookies and biscuits. And here we have the little clicker that you click on. And I'll show you that later. And on the right side here, we have um, the scoreboard. We have four team, team one, team two, team three, team four. And you can actually put a team name there if you want. And here we have the reset button, the challenge button, and also the question button. The challenge button is a bit tricky. If they're feeling lucky, they can try the challenge button, uh, but we'll uh, take a look at both of them together later on. All right, so we have the challenge and the question button down here. So let's click on the question button. Up here, we can edit the question. I'll show you how to do that later. You can add your own image here. And if you click on the little biscuit cookie here, you'll get the answer. And you can edit this later, and I'll show you that as well. So I hope you can watch this video to the end to learn how to do that. So let's click the return button here. And now they can click on the spinner. Click on it again to stop. And this means you have to click three times before you can get a snack. So click here. And hopefully grandma doesn't wake up. Uh -oh. All right, let's do it one more time. One more time. All right, we're safe. So let's choose one here. And so uh, we picked a yellow biscuit here. And let's do it again. 
So you can change the question up here. You can add your own image down here. And you can uh, add your answer here. And let's return and click on the spinner. And this time we get two, one, two. And now we can pick a snack and add the snack here. All right, so let's try a challenge button here. If we're feeling lucky. And this is a reading challenge. You can edit this later. So click on the little cookie here and it says click on the knob to start. So go ahead and click on the knob here. Okay. And the student has to read out loud. And you can put your own phrase or sentence, whatever you want in here. All right, and if they're able to complete that, click the return button and they can try uh, to get snack by clicking on the spinner here and you get a boy here, so skip the turn. So let's just click it one more time. All right, and we have to click three times. One, two, three. All right, let's pick a snack here. We got a double red biscuit here, so let's add that. And let's try the reading challenge again. Again, click on the knob here to start the game and you can add your own okay. phrase Are you ready? or grammar in here. All right. Ooh. This one's a bit tricky. It disappeared. All right. If they're able to complete this, they can uh, click on the spinner. So let's just do that. And we get two clicks here. One. Two. Oh. Ooh. All right, safe. Let's get a yellow pretzel here. All right. So you can play around with this and click on challenge or question. Again, you can edit your question up here and add your answer here and add an image um, onto the slide as well. And then you click on the spinner and we have to click two times before we can get a snack. All right, this time we'll choose a red cookie. And you can play around with this. You can try the challenge and the question. Um, the challenge is a little difficult. And, uh, okay, are you ready? But it certainly is fun. I've tried this um, a few times with my students and they, they all want to try the challenge. Um, you can reward them like with two clicks or something like that. Because it's quite, quite difficult. All right, so this is no clicks here. You can just choose a cookie or a snack. All right. And try a challenge again. And it's a little different each time. So this one is uh, okay. just challenging. Are you ready? Or another reading one, but the text kind of sway and spin and turn here and grow and shrink. So it's a little different this time. There are two different kind of challenges. Um, one is a reading challenge and another one is a, a word challenge. And I'll show you how to edit both of them later. So I hope you can watch this video to the end so you can know how to do that. And if you have any questions or concern about um, any particular thing about this PowerPoint game, please don't hesitate to write it in the comment section below. And I'll uh, take a look at that. Oh, ooh, I don't think ground's going to And if you feel that, ooh, there you go, grandma's awake. Um, if you feel that, uh, you click the reset button here to reset again, and they'll start a new game. If you're running low on cookies in the in the tray, in the yellow tray, you can also hit the reset button and, and it'll restart and drop more cookies into the tray as well. If you feel that the clicks are taking too long and you want it to um, speed, up, um, speed up the game a little bit more, I'll show you how to edit that later so that grandma will wake, will, will wake up um, faster. Uh, ooh. Alright, I think it's almost time for Grandma to wake up. 
So we gotta be very, very careful. Here, so let's do the spinner here again. And get one click here. Oh, oh, oh. That's not good. Alright. And now, we'll try it one more time. And we'll choose a cookie here. And this team gets that. Again, you can use this game however way you want. It's really up to you. Um, you can change the rules if you want. Um, I believe the original game um, had the rules like this, um, but you can change the rules to fit your classroom, to fit your your lesson. So you can use this game however way you want. Just get creative with it. And, oh, we can't do that. And uh, Karma still isn't still isn't waking up. Alright. I will choose this up. Click it a few more times. And there we go. And just hit the reset button to um, drop more uh, cookies and biscuits into the basket. And you can also click on the, the little uh, cookies and biscuits on the right side on the scoreboard to minus points as well if you want to do that. I hope you guys are enjoying my PowerPoint games and finding it useful. If you do and you want to help support this channel, you can also do that. There's a link in the description of this video and you can also help the channel through uh, the link as well. Alright, you have another reset here. I think you get the idea. And now let's take a look at how we can edit uh, the QA slides. And also I've left some note down here so that you can uh, read through that later to see how you can uh, use and play this game and how to edit this game as well. So here we have, on the left side here, we have 50 QA slides. So there's 50 questions here that you can edit. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. And also, at the bottom here, we have uh, 24 challenge slides. Um, as I mentioned, there's two types of challenges here. There's a reading one and a uh, guess the word challenge. And I'll show you how to edit that um, later. Oops, uh, let's just go back here. All right, so let's click on one of the challenges here. So this is a reading challenge. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. So you click on the knob here uh, to start the challenge. Okay, are you ready? And the students just have uh, to read the text in the TV. And if they're able to read it correctly, uh, they can try spinning the wheel or the pointer uh, try spinning the um, the wheel to get some some points all right so this is the guess the word um, challenge so we have um, you click on the knob here the big knob here and then you click on the little knob below it uh, for the answer all right so let's click on the big knob here Okay. Is, guess the word. Are you so ready? It'll show part of the words, but you can use this however way you want. You don't have to do uh, use it the way I explain it, but uh, it's really up to you. And then you click on the little knob here to reveal the answer. All right, so let's go back up to the QA slide, and we'll grab the first one here, and let's put a question here. So let's see, um, what did you have for breakfast uh, this morning? Oops, let's just fix this a little bit. Okay, this morning. And then after that, we'll put in our answer here. You can either drag this image down or the easiest way for me is just open the um, selection pane here. 
and find the answer here up here. It's usually um, the first one. And we can hide that. Just hide that. And now we can add our image here. Right click and go to change picture from a file and just insert your own image here. So I'll just choose a picture of a woman eating uh, breakfast. And then we'll just unhide this. Let's do another one here. And uh, let's see, what can I put here? Um, what is the girl doing? All right, and here we'll put the answer here. Um, so she is walking her dog. And then we'll hide the answer. And then click here, right click, go to change picture from a file. And we'll add our picture of a girl walking a dog. And then unhide that. And make sure you save your work so you don't lose all this hard work. All right. So let's test this out. Let's hit the play button on the, the scoreboard slide here. And let's click on question. And it should load the first question up. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Click on the little biscuit on the right corner here. And if they're able to answer correctly, so I had eggs this morning or I ate bread this morning. I can, uh, click on the spinner here. And this is, uh, choose any snacks without having to click on the, the purple clicker. Let's click on the question one more time. What is the girl doing? Let's click on the biscuit up here to reveal the answer. She is walking her dog. If they get it right, click return and click on the screen. And this time we have to click two times before we can get a snack. One, two, three. Oh, we didn't wake up. Let's click this red pretzel real quickly and add it here. Awesome. All right. Now let's, let's take a look at um, the challenge slide. Let's just go down to the challenge slide and just pick one. Let's just grab uh, this one right here. And uh, you can put whatever you want. I'm just going to put a tongue twister in here. Anything will do. And let's see. Uh, let's see. Zebras. Uh, zig and zebra zag. Maybe that's a good tongue twister. Just add this here. And once you're happy with uh, your text or sentence, um, you can test it out by hitting the play button. All right, let's see. Click here on the main scoreboard and let's click on the challenge. All right, and let's click on the knob here, the big knob here to start the challenge all right here we go okay are you ready if we can read this zebras uh, zebra zig and zebra zags so if they're able to do it uh, just click on the return button and they can uh, and they can click on the spinner to try to get some points and click two times before we can get a snack all right, let's choose a yellow pretzel and let's add it real quickly here. Awesome. And uh, now let's take a look at the second challenge, the um, guess the word. So I put an example for you guys at the bottom. You can read through the note. Uh, you can put whatever uh, word you want. Uh, you can use this however you want. It doesn't have to be uh, what's the word. So here we have just part of the, uh, the vocabulary here. We put part of it, so alley, gate, pores, and then we put the answer down here, so the right answer, the correct answer is alligators. Right. Let's click here, and again, we want to, um, oops, we want to click on the big knob to start the game, and the small knob is to reveal okay. the answer. So are you ready? Go. Hmm. Uh, if they can guess the word, they can click on the spinner. That's the real answer. Alligators. And then they can return and click on the spinner. Two clicks before we get a snack. One, two, three. Right. Awesome. 
So what happens if you uh, run out of snacks? So here, the snack is almost gone. You can click the reset button to add more snacks. Again, when the snack is almost gone and Grandma isn't waking up, just click the reset button again to drop more snacks in there. Alright, what if you want Grandma to wake up faster? Just go to your animation here and click on animation pane. And you want to find where it says clicker. This one's clicker one. And you see it says um, purple button and uh, click sound effects. You can delete those. So let's, let's delete a few. So this way grandma will wake up faster. So let's just click on that and the sound effects and then just hit delete. And let's do a few more. It's, it's set up to where two or three clicks Grandma reacts to your uh, to your clicks, but you can change the durations. You can change the speed by deleting a few of these clicks here, and she will wake up faster. All right. Uh, let's see. I think um, maybe you can delete a few more here. I think that'll do. And just hit delete and then make sure you save your game so you don't lose all of that hard work i recommend making a copy of this game um saving a few copies of it so that you uh if you do make a mistake um, with, oops, with deleting the um the clicks and the sound effects you'll have a backup <laughs> Just a few more, yes. So she, she wakes up much faster. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy my brand new Greedy Granny game. And if you do, don't forget to like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. And if you're new to this channel and would like to get more awesome PowerPoint games like this, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. I want to say a huge big thank you to all the supporters, subscribers, and viewers. You guys are the best. I hope you enjoy my brand new PowerPoint game. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best of luck in your classes.